<laughs> we should have given her her microphone back. <laughs> It's pop-up sale day. We're loading the last little bits to head out for Bedford, Indiana. And look, we have Mary Beth's gone to get the vase and we've got one little spot left. Hang on, I'll show you. Are you just gonna video and not help? Yes. <laughs> this is for the video. I did a Marco Polo earlier. <laughs> oh my God, it's gonna happen. Man, we've even got like this much headspace, Mary Beth. I think that's gonna work. In this one I little spot. I think that's spot. gonna be fine. <laughs> Can we stuff something on top of it? No. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We are all stuffed out. Look at this, you guys. Ah! Hey everybody. Fat Red Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. Laura, did you just shoot the beginning of that video vertically? I swear I've edited this video and I didn't even notice it until you pointed it out. Why are you doing it that way? I don't know. So what a what a day this was on setup day. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad we gave ourselves a little extra time. Yeah. So we're gonna show you some like a little bit of sped up. We just put our camera off to the <laughs> side and we're, we're just going to let it run. Let show you guys like the madness. Yeah. We had to do the voiceover anyway, because we were jamming. We had the music playing oh, yeah. and we got copyright strikes every which way. Yes. So let me just say that Laura and I are like expert packers in that. I don't know how we fit all that stuff in the car. I don't either. Plus with the amount of stuff that we brought, I never would have imagined that it all would have fit in this space. Like, I thought we were, I thought we had enough stuff for like a whole store. <laughs> I think you were doubting me a little bit. I didn't, I, I don't think that you thought we needed that much stuff. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> but amazingly, everything we brought fit into our space, which I think is fantastic. We did a great job. I think so. I think our booth looked really, really good. Look how much fun everybody's having. Like Ariana, and Miss Pam, and Misty, they're all in and out of the booth, in and out of the shot. Oh, yeah. Everybody's running everywhere, taking pictures of each other's stuff. Oh, yeah. It was a big time, for sure. <laughs> Look at Misty. There she goes again. Oh, yeah. I'm working on my Empoli shelf up there at the top. Man, you really... I wish I had counted how many times you put a piece of Empoli up there and took it back down. Oh, really? And switched it around. It's a lot. Oh, because you're making fun of me? <laughs> no. You think I'm indecisive? No, it was cute. I'm indecisive. What are we, you think we're talking about? Well, you're getting ready to tell me a story. Oh. And it's really great. Oh. You're getting ready to tell your dance story. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll tell that later. It wasn't dance. It was cheerleading. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. It was a cheerleading camp because I knew I had never heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just kept finding pieces of that Empoli glass that I had forgotten that we brought. I know. We brought so much stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's just hard to remember. Look, there's another piece. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that lamp comes down eventually because there was just not enough room. And look, you were afraid the whole entire time that we didn't have the genie oh. bottle stoppers yeah, to those big bottles. Yeah, they're right in the center, those two big genie bottles. Like, I, we didn't find those stoppers until the very last, like, the bottom of the very last tote. Yeah, you left to go get something out of the car after we had been worried about it. And the minute you left, I found them in the bottom of that tote. Ugh, I'm so glad. I was really <laughs> worried about those, honestly. Oh, there goes Misty. <laughs> there she goes again. And she was all over the place. She was killing it. She had everything under control. Oh, yeah, for sure. She, she did so much work in preparation for that day. So much work. I mean... To, to space out all those uh, booths and the furniture and it just, you just don't know how much work that entails. It was perfect. We, we, when we rolled up in there, fortunately, she, on her vlogs, she's been showing yeah, yeah. The, the empty spots, but she had it all ready to go. Yes. I mean, we didn't have to do anything except set our stuff in there. Yes. I really like the way our booth ended up looking. 
I think that we should be proud of ourselves. I, I think, think it so. did end up looking really good. And it's a good thing because everybody's booth was on par. I mean, it on was... On point. On point. That's right. So, good thing we had ours together. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking around at, at stuff oh, and look, I'm Oh, here's like, your story. Look. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look. we're doing the mashed potato. <laughs> Okay, so let me just tell that story real quick. The The song was on Do You Love Me? Yes. Do you love me? Ba -da -da -da. Okay. And so I was telling Laura this story about when I was like five or six years old, I was in a cheerleading clinic. And that's so great. I, I don't know what happened, but I didn't, I don't think I was in it the whole day. I think I like bumped my head. I don't know. I, I have a vague memory of, like, hanging out with adults in the office that day. Oh, dear. So, I don't think I was taught anything. And so, the day that we went out in the on the gym floor to perform in front of everybody, I had no idea what I was doing. And so, I was just standing around looking at everybody else, like, what are you guys doing? That's your little pose where you're looking up in the sky. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. off in the distance. <laughs> that is so funny. Check out our uranium cabinet. That was awesome when we flipped that on. It, yeah. That looks good. You, that shows from the front of the whole entire shop. Yes. So, and we sold a lot of uranium out of there. Yeah, we actually did. Um, that was Laura's idea to bring that little red cabinet and the uranium cabinet. I would have sold that uranium cabinet if anybody had wanted it. So we didn't have to haul it home. We should have put a price on it. I, we should have. Next time. Next time. <laughs> oh... What are we doing? Okay, so we're just... Oh, look, this is the very end of... Because of, you're putting these little three swung vases that were so cute together. Oh, yeah. You were just putting the finishing touches on it there. Yeah, they were a really cute little set of three, the pedestal smoothies there. Oh, I'm like nesting. I'm uh -huh. like, you're like barely moving it like an inch. <laughs> I didn't set this up the whole time because, you know, my battery would have run out the whole time if yeah. we had done it. But, I mean, it probably took us a good three, three hours that day, and maybe a little bit longer the next day. Yeah, but oh, here's look. here's the finished product. Oh, I love that cookie jar up there. Isn't it cute? Yeah. Oh, look, Laura, you found the bottle stoppers. Yeah, the whole thing looks good. The, the I'm pointing out the Curtis Jerry piece, so we don't forget to talk about it. Oh, there. Oh yeah, that one's gorgeous. Signed Curtis Jerry. Laura, look at your picnic theme. <laughs> Isn't it great? Oh, everybody in the comment section, just take a moment to tell Laura how great her picnic theme was. Well, I rewatched the flipping and sipping from that Friday night and was cracking up because you were saying, tell Laura that her picnic <laughs> theme is on point. And everybody did. They did. There's my picnic basket with my little mushroom. Oh, those were a hit, by the way. We sold all of those quickly. Yeah, everybody loved those little packages. That was a really cute idea. I've got some prepackaged ideas actually for the December pop up. Too. Yes, that I thought that might be popular. You know, people just wanting a souvenir, and if they don't have to make a choice, you know, it's already packaged up like that. Yeah, for sure. That was a really cute little area down there too, Laura, with your orange Afghan and stuff. There's our Fenton. There's the Empoli shelf. Oh, all that just looked really good together. Isn't it great? Yeah, I'm we, a big fan. We have. I mean, we sold a ton, and but we also brought a ton home. We so. did. Oh, here's Ariana's booth. She sold tons of stuff. We were neck and neck. Oh yeah. Totals wise. Yeah. She her stuff is so adorable. I just love her style and her aesthetic. Right. It's like that shabby. I don't want to say shabby chic because that's that's not right, but. Oh, she's called the Withering Cottage for a reason. She, for sure, she likes everything tattered and antique and non-perfect. And oh, I love the little side eye guy. There. Yeah, look at him. All she loves the old Victorian. Like, look at that frame. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. And those ornaments on that tree. Everything she did was just really adorable. <laughs> the Velvet Elvis back there was Misty's. And she had a lot of prepackaged stuff as well, mm -hmm. like all these little dolls, and she had a lot of ephemera. I think every one of those packages of hers sold, too. Yeah, I think you're right. I think those little prepackaged, like, little gift ideas are a really good idea. Mm -hmm. I think the jewelry was popular. And look, this, this is the stunners. This is her personal work, Mary Beth. I know. She, she like, sources She's these. She's a butterfly murderer. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God, she'll kill you. I'm kidding. It's a joke. <laughs> 
She ethically sources her butterflies. Yes. Yes. Indeed. It was a joke. I know it was. <laughs> oh, look. There's a mystery jar. A junk jar. I love that circus little display back there, too. That sold pretty quickly. Yeah, it did. Also. That was on the hold table, like, early on. You know, I'm a circus collector. All I, of the art in my house is circus. I know. You pretty much needed that little whatever you, that was. You know, I thought about it, but I didn't really, I don't really have anywhere to put it. Oh, I love these ephemera packs, too. <sighs> Weren't they adorable? Yeah, I should. And they were all perfectly themed. Like, that one is all red, white, and blue. They're, like, all color schemed together. I should have sat down and done a whole little short for my Fat Bird Finds crafting channel. Like, because, just on those? Yeah. Yeah. Because they're so good. Yeah. There's an Earth Tones one right back there. Oh, and here's oh, Barb. look. Here's Barb. She had some little gummy bear stuffed animals down there. Did you see those? Yeah. She had maybe, I want to say she had the biggest um, eclectic, the most eclectic mix of things, look I think. Look at those bears. <laughs> Y'all, the bears. Oh, my God, their face. Misty bought those I before know. the door is even opened. Oh, my gosh. We let, her, we let her do that because she deserved it after all of her hard work. Yes. But weren't those perfect for, like, Halloween? They're orange and black. Oh, my God. Oh, and look at that bittersweet. That bittersweet. It sold That thick, sold too. very fast. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Aww. And then Barb loves her squeaks. So her rubber face dolls and her Don't squeaks. Don't say squeaks. Squeakers, squeakies. <laughs> oh, here's Misty's dad's booth. Oh, it's dad's booth. It got a lot of attention. It was one of the first things when you came in the door. Exactly. And he has the, I mean, if this is not like grandpa chic, I don't oh, know what sure. is. <laughs> for sure. So he had all the cool like. Um, primitives. He, primitives, old metal signs, old clocks. There was some oil paintings. Um rusty and crusty stuff with the lanterns mm -hmm. people really enjoyed that especially the husbands yes are we looking those are like the communal tables yeah right, right down the middle everybody was able to put stuff on those middle tables i thought that was a great idea yeah. everything was color coded so we were able to put things anywhere we wanted to in the whole store and it still didn't cause a problem with people checking out yeah that was a brilliant idea yeah and here's miss pam's oh, area miss pam it's always a good day when you get to see Miss Pam. Did you know she said she might come visit us? <gasps> in the fall, she can't She can't do the December 7th pop-up. But she said, I think I'm just going to go see Fat Bird Finds oh, in the fall. I would love that, Miss Pam. Wouldn't that Pam. be fun? That would be awesome. Look, look how she displayed it on that little... Oh, there's her beaver. <laughs> Except it's a fox. <laughs> Oh, her beaver. That was the big joke. I don't know, I don't know who started that joke, but it was pretty either. funny. We got a lot of mileage out of that. Yeah, we really did. <laughs> Miss Pam's stuff is all very Victorian as well. And it's all so pretty. Like, look at this little wardrobe coming up. All the jewelry caskets. Look how many jewelry caskets she oh, had there. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are so pretty. We tried. We thought we were going to play a game where everybody, we were just going to show you guys the booths and let you guess. <laughs> but, we did that on flipping and Sipping, sort of. Yeah. But oh, it here's was, Michael Todd. It was kind of easy. <laughs> Look at that great big purple bowl. Isn't that fabulous? That thing is gorgeous. Yeah, you just can't even really get a sense for how big it is from the video. It got a lot of attention. Speaking of something that got a lot of attention, the the hiding of little Frank, our little plushie, our little stuffed animal. Yeah. People really liked that. That was a great idea. I was looking there at Michael's little pony, that little horse on rollers. <laughs> at one point, little Frank was sitting on that horse. We hid him. We ended up hiding him. Jeffrey hid him all, half the day. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, look God. at that. Yeah, I don't like that. I, I like that little donkey. <laughs> but those other two guys, ooh, I don't know. He had some really great prices on those, too. Oh, look. It's Misty. There's Misty's booth. I think Jeffrey said that about that little doll several times. He, he was like, oh. oh, look, there's Misty with her mouth open. I got you. Because <laughs> she's always finding something that looks like baby Jeff. Yes. Baby Jeff Jeff. So he's probably paying her back. Oh, look, there you are in the mirror. There I am. <laughs> about to make the whole rounds of the shop. So I just don't think it could have looked any better. I, the I whole agree. entire store. Yeah. whole entire store. Gorgeous. Well, I think that one of the very, very coolest things 
things about it, like you said earlier, is how everybody's booth just complimented their style so well. You know, we were branded to death, you yeah. know, with our sign and our little birds taped everywhere. But if it hadn't been for that, you would definitely have been able to pick whose booth was whose just based on aesthetic alone. Oh, I think so too, which I think is just too much fun. Yeah. You know, you would just never think that you, I don't know, that you would be that specific and be able to tell exactly who brought what. Right, but you totally can. Did you see that little blue bird up there earlier? Why didn't we get that? Well, I should have. I used to have it as a kid. Remember I said that I'm flipping oh, and flipping? Oh, that's right. You said that. And my mom watched watched my footage today, and she goes, why didn't you buy that bird? Oh, my God, I'm just remembering that you had that on your Aww. baby bed. I said, I don't know. I'm going to have to call Misty and see if she sold that. Oh, this is where we're, like, getting ready to do flipping and sipping, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting ready to do and oh, look. watch this. Oh, who am I waving to? Ah! I <laughs> love him. <laughs> I looked around, and you were just standing with your arms wide open. And look at Barb. <laughs> <laughs> She's got baby secrets this morning. <laughs> Barb and Miss Pam, are you ready for this day? We're not open the doors yet, but we're about to. It's exciting. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was going to come out with my microphone. Oh, no, I'm all blurry. Okay, I'm going to do some. We're passing out beads. Oh, passing out beads. You don't have to show us anything for your beads. It's all okay. This is not uh, Luke, uh, our Mardi Gras. So maybe I can turn me down just a little bit. I'm wearing a Mardi Gras t-shirt. I have to go to that. So, I'm going to say, um, where are you all from? Who would you like to say, where are you from? fun i think we can wrap it up guys thank you so very much for watching please give us a thumbs up leave us a comment below and let us know what your favorite part of the day was and if you can if you can if you can pick it's hard to pick but do your best um subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and as always make sure you stay tuned to see what fat bird finds next and we'll see you next time bye everybody